Hi, this is Onur. I'm here with a new Blender tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to use Intel's Open Image Denoise in Blender to speed up our renders. Before that, I want to show you all denoisers included in Blender. There are three different denoise algorithms in Blender 2.8. The first one is Blender's default denoiser. This was the first denoiser added into Blender. You can use it only with Cycles render engine and the results are starting to show its age. The second one is NVIDIA's Optics Denoiser. If you have got a NVIDIA RTX graphics card, you can use this denoiser and speed up your renders. The Optics Denoise is an advanced artificial intelligence algorithm trained with hundreds of images to eliminate noise in your render. Lots of commercial render engines like V-Ray, Arnold and many others are supporting Optics Denoiser. So, if you have got an RTX graphics card, you can use it in Blender too. To enable that, you need to go to Blender Preferences and choose Optics from the System section. So, you can use your RTX GPU to speed up your renders significantly. The third one is the Intel Open Image Denoise. Intel's Denoise library uses artificial intelligence to more effectively clean out the noise while creating a clean render. The biggest advantage of the Intel Denoise is that you don't need any high-end hardware to use it. So, you can use any modern CPU and GPU to use this denoiser. Now, I'm going to make a quick comparison between Blender Denoise and Intel Denoise. I'm choosing Cycles Render Engine and changing Render Samples value to 8. And then, I'm enabling the Blender's default denoise in View Layer Properties panel on the right. Now, I'm pressing F12 to render our scene. Unlike other denoisers, Blender's default denoiser applies the effect while rendering the image. After the render finishes, I'm saving the image file for the comparison. Now, it's time to try the Intel Open Image Denoise. First, I'm disabling the Blender's default denoiser. After that, I'm going to Compositing tab, then selecting Use Node option. To add the Intel denoise, I'm going to the Add menu and choosing Denoise in the Filter section. I'm dropping the denoise on the connection line and it places itself automatically. Now on the left panel, I'm choosing Denoising data in the Layer Properties section. As you can see, this adds a couple of important outputs to render layers. We need only two of them for Intel Denoise. First, I'm connecting Denoising Normal to Normal and Denoising Albedo to Albedo node. Then I'm pressing F12 to render our scene and save the final image. If you look at the results side by side, we can clearly see the Intel Denoise is much cleaner and it took less time to render. As you can see on the left image, Blender default denoise version looks blotchy and unusable. Also, edges and textures look much softer than the Intel's one. Even at a high render sample setting, you can still see the render artifacts of the default denoiser on the left image. For the final comparison, I've rendered the scene without a denoiser at 2048 samples. You've got a cleaner image, but this render took about 24 minutes and 11 seconds. On the right side, I rendered the scene with Intel Denoise and 16 samples, but you can clearly see that the edges are blurry and texture lost its details. At 64 samples, we get some improvement on overall image. It is just enough for to preview our scene. At 256 samples, we got more details in the refracted texture, but we still need more improvement for final rendering. Intel Open Image Denoise does an amazing job at 512 samples. It decreased our final render time from 24 minutes to 6 minutes while retaining the image details. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. This is Onur. I hope you see you next time.